In Matthew chapter 7, Jesus concluded the Sermon on the Mount with a warning to beware of false prophets and an urgent appeal to obey his teaching. He also made a shocking prediction about the state of Christianity at the second coming. In Matthew chapter 7, verses 21 through 23, Jesus said, Not everyone who says to me, Lord, Lord, will enter the kingdom of heaven, but the one who does the will of my Father who is in heaven. On that day, many will say to me, Lord, Lord, did we not prophesy in your name and cast out demons in your name and do many mighty works in your name? And then I will declare to them, I never knew you. Depart from me, you workers of lawlessness. This passage reveals that there are false Christians and true Christians. There are those who merely acknowledge Jesus as Lord, but don't obey him. And there are those who do the will of God. Jesus also said that there will be many false Christians, not a few. In Revelation chapter 14, verse 12, John provides a description of true Christians, saying, Here is a call for the endurance of the saints, those who keep the commandments of God and their faith in Jesus. The second point is that only those who obey God will enter the kingdom of heaven. God expects Christians to demonstrate their faith through action. James chapter 2, verses 18 through 20 says, But someone will say, You have faith and I have works. Show me your faith apart from your works, and I will show you my faith by my works. You believe that God is one? You do well. Even the demons believe and shudder. Do you want to be shown, you foolish person, that faith apart from works is useless? The Bible consistently teaches that repentance and obedience are required for salvation. Third, the false Christians sincerely believe that they are saved, but they are not. They have had a false conversion experience. They believe that Jesus is the Messiah, but they have not repented of their sins. James chapter 1 verse 22 says, But be doers of the word, and not hearers only, deceiving yourselves. Fourth, the false Christians claim that they have done mighty miracles, but God was never with them. Jesus warned his disciples to beware of false prophets. In Matthew chapter 7, verses 15 and 16, Jesus said, Beware of false prophets who come to you in sheep's clothing, but inwardly are ravenous wolves. You will recognize them by their fruits. Are grapes gathered from thorn bushes or figs from thistles? In Matthew chapter 24, verse 24, he also said, For false Christs and false prophets will arise and perform great signs and wonders, so as to lead astray, if possible, even the elect. Fifth, Jesus will reject the false Christians at the second coming. In Matthew chapter 7, verse 22, Jesus mentioned a specific day when the true Christians will enter the kingdom, but the false Christians will be excluded. He described this day in the Olivet Prophecy. In Matthew chapter 25, verses 31 and 32, Jesus said, When the Son of Man comes in his glory, and all the angels with him, then he will sit on his glorious throne. Before him will be gathered all the nations, and he will separate people, one from another, as a shepherd separates the sheep from the goats. According to Jesus, the sheep are the true Christians who inherit the kingdom, but the goats are the false Christians who are condemned to hell fire. Finally, Jesus identifies the false Christians as those who break the law of Moses. In Matthew chapter 7, verse 23, Jesus quotes from Psalm 6, verse 8, when he says to the false Christians, I never knew you. Depart from me, you workers of lawlessness. 
In Psalm 6, verse 8, David says, Depart from me, all you workers of evil, for the Lord has heard the sound of my weeping. Matthew uses the same phrase as the Greek version of Psalm 6, verse 8, for these workers of lawlessness, hoi ergazamenoi tain anamian. The Greek term anamia refers to iniquity, disobedience, contempt for, and violation of the law. Matthew chapter 7, verse 23, and Psalm 6, verse 8, refer to the same law code, the same moral standard used throughout the Old Testament, the law of Moses. Everyone who heard Jesus deliver the Sermon on the Mount understood sin to be the transgression of the Mosaic law. This was the same meaning that David had in mind when he rebuked the workers of evil in Psalm 6, verse 8. Every Israelite knew what doing the will of God meant. In Deuteronomy chapter 10, verse 12, Moses told them, And now, Israel, what does the Lord your God require of you but to fear the Lord your God, to walk in all his ways, to love him, to serve the Lord your God, with all your heart and with all your soul. When we understand the original context of Matthew chapter 7, verses 21 through 23, we see the key difference between false Christians and true Christians. False Christians believe that Jesus is the Messiah, but they are antinomians. They oppose and break God's laws. True Christians are those who keep the commandments of God and their faith in Jesus Christ. 